Morning guys, uh, just want to talk about the difference between people that are successful and people that fail or just simply don't do it. Um, I was watching a TED talk which sort of hit a nail on the head the way I think, um, which is basically it's got nothing to do with people being smarter than other people or um, having a better background or anything like that. It comes down to determination, they call it grit. Um, the fact that you want to succeed and accept that you will get there regardless is the main thing. Because um, I do get some people say to me, well, it's all right for you, you can do this. It's all right for anybody who will put the commitment into it. When I started the call center, I'd never touched a dialer. Never, never used one, never even thought about it before. But I could see it was a weak point in the call center. Not just mine, but most of them. Because if you run it right, it'll actually save you money, but also increase your sales. Um, so I spent a month learning how to do it. I didn't sit there going, well, I don't know enough, enough about this. I've never programmed or anything in Linux. I, uh, I simply got on with it. And that, that's, that is the reality. You can sit there and complain and say, well, look, the world owes me a living or whatever, but it doesn't. And you, can't, you can sit there complaining and saying other people got on in life and you didn't because they come from better families or seem to be smarter. They're not. They got in life because they actually committed to it and done it. I mean, when you look at some of the, I mean, some of the doctors I know ain't exactly the best. Um... But the reason they succeed is because they've committed to it. Yes, they probably had more money to put them through college, but it doesn't mean you couldn't have done it if you didn't, you know, if you had actually decided you want to be a doctor. That's the reality. It's a bit like in the UK, nepotism's a major issue. Major issue. But does it stop? Stop me wanting to function or develop into a higher role in a company where I know I would struggle, struggle to get a directorship because I don't yield to these morons that come out of the ex-forces that were incompetent there and then move over into the mil uh, corporate sector because of trading contracts etc. No. Simple, uh, simple answer, no. Because there's other contracts out there. There is a point where if you get big enough, you can take their work anyway. So from that side, the answer to it is not to see it as a negative where you ain't going to be able to get there, but as a positive because it drives you to do better. And that, that's pretty much it. This is what I was seeing in this TED talk. Because um, even at a child, you know, young child age, it was the commitment to succeed that mattered. They didn't talk themselves out of achieving it. They made themselves achieve it. They knew they needed to do it and they just got on with it. I find this whole world schooling system in the UK, because I can't speak of other countries, of well-rounded person is a complete load of nonsense. They're more concerned about people being able to get on with everybody instead of focusing on actually being prepared for the real world. Um, I don't, get, don't, don't get me wrong, some of, it are, some of it is important, but at the same time, a lot of it shouldn't be mainstream. Um, it should be a case of, if you want to study it, study it. But if your kid can't read and write and have the drive to actually get on in life, that takes more, uh, more importance than his LGBT understandings. Um, and I have a bit of a jab at Birmingham for that because it's into some of the stuff that comes out with his absolute crap. Um, yeah, that, but that's a personal opinion. But the, yeah, the whole point is you, you focus on success. And I often hear people say, well, I couldn't do that. Well, you've already told yourself you can't do it. The people that succeed, and you'll often hear this sometimes, is where people go, people told me I wouldn't do it. They told me I wouldn't succeed. And that's what made them successful. 
because they reversed it and said, you know what, to hell with it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to achieve this. I don't care what you say. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm going to do this for me. And that's, that's the grip. And that's what was coming out of this TED talk, is the fact that you can achieve things and be successful with one important factor. You've got to drive it. Thanks for watching.